Welcome everybody. Today we released the next version of the 20 Reasons Google Style Sugar Scene and there's uh, many enhancements which I just want to go through and highlight some of those. <clears throat> the first thing you will uh, see is uh, lots of change in the icons. We have tried to basically flatten that down, be a little bit more Google Metro styles or these kind of changes. So that's new. A couple of things in general the same. What you see is we have four areas. Uh, the one we have the normal menu bar on the top. We have what's new and what's not in regular sugar base is uh, the sidebar, which is a configurable sidebar, which is also, by the way, floatable. So you can open it and hide it. If you want to hide it, it hides it. If you move over, then it stays there. You can expand it. And you also have a bottom toolbar, which is also, by the way, can be hidden. So if you want to leave your space, you can extend it. If you just hover over it, then basically whoop, it opens up, shows you the things. If you go out again, if you want to make it stick, just make it stick. And then, of course, the main content area. Uh, a couple of things on the uh, basic items. The one is what you will see on the left is uh, the home icon. So this is for the home screen. If you are somewhere in a meeting, you can easily get uh, to your home desk just by um, clicking on the home icon that takes you to the home screen. The second item, if you have group menus and you have enabled that for the user that shows, basically shows it in groups. So now we have all the modules. As you can see, if there are more, there are more opens and you can select those. Or the other thing is um, we can select those and it's dynamically loaded and it's basically filtered um, as we go. Once it's loaded, it doesn't load it again, so increase performance. Then of course the normal search bar. Um, besides the home menu, there's also if you hover over it the menu for the specific module. It presents a couple of new things. The one is the shortcuts, so uh, that you will know. The second thing is add-on for favorites, so we'll discuss about that and talk about it later, and then the last viewed, and the other nice thing you will see is if you look at these entries, if you hover over it, there's also an edit pane, so if you just want to go to the record in the edit view, click on it here, if you want to go to the edit view direct, just click here, it takes you directly to the edit view of the record, so it makes navigation a little bit easier. The second sweet thing on the home menu is we have cleaned up the home desktop of the user. One of the things that has been moved and asked many times is if you are on the home screen, you get the shortcuts. The one thing you get here is a dashlet, which is the normal a dashlet dialog. So you can just add dashlets here. The second important thing is you can add a page. So, uh, typically C is limited to one desktop, we have extended that, so you can add multiple. So, if you click on that, dialog opens here, and you can say, okay, this is my support uh, desktop. Um, you can specify the number of columns you want to show. I want to show two, click OK. This, way, this brings me an empty desktop. There's two, my sugar, that's my normal desktop, that is here. Has all my dashlets, but then I have another one which I can also open up. Then, of course, what I can do is add dashlets here. So just basically add my accounts, my post opportunities, my calls. And as you like it, position them, filter them as you want. And basically, that stays here. If you navigate away, like I navigate to this hotel. And then we go back again to the desktop. It takes you to the desktop you last used. Um, the other thing you can do is if you're on the home screen, you see you have the choices here. If you are also not on the home screen, you always have these desktops here. So you can always say, okay, to which desktop you want to go. So if you want to go to a specific one, don't just click on the home icon, select it from here. The other thing you can do is you can rename those tabs or delete them. So if you're going to be on the support view, let's go there. You can easily click on the pencil here and rename it to my support. 
change also the number of columns, hit OK to save, or the other thing you can do is just delete it, then the whole desktop is deleted, and you take them back the original one. Desktop's always user specific, so that's uh, whatever you want to do. The second thing you want to focus on is the sidebar. So first of all, if we are on the home screen, I have my desktops here. If I'm on another thing, like for example, go to this opportunity, you see that on the top there is first of all the main. So it's of course the normal main. It's moved from here to also save some space. And then the next big thing in here is that it's, uh, what we call this action bar. Action bar when it has three actions. The first one is to flag a record as favorite. So I can easily do that and say, okay, mark it as favorite. Then you see that icon color changes. What this helps me is to keep track of those things. First of all, favorites are shown if you want on the sidebar, but also we have seen this in the menu if I go here. You see now, rubber grouping is in my favorites. So, easy to check that. The next thing you can do is flag yourself a reminder. So, for example, you want to keep track of that and say, okay, um, I need to look at this wonderful opportunity in a week from now. Just click on the reminder, a calendar pop up opens for this and the following months. And say, okay, in a week from now, I want to be reminded. You see, that changes, we have the date here. It also shows up here in my reminder sidebar. So I always see what I've uh, set as reminders. I can easily just simply delete them and say, okay, don't need any longer, it's gone. Or if I set the reminder and say, okay, oops, want to change that in a week from now, just click on it and change it. So it's not supposed to replace tasks and calls, but in many cases we've heard from customers that the user said creating a task or a call is tedious, takes too much time just to keep the date in mind. So that's very simple and easy. And even if you are never in the application, you see the end numbers typically with display five of reminders that are upcoming. You always see a little icon what it is, it is an opportunity. If you hover over it, again you can just close the reminder, that's one thing. So, for example, let's take the Riviera hotels and say I don't need it any longer, don't even need to navigate to the record, can do it right from here. Or if you want, you can just go edit the record or just display the record. So, fast and easy to do that. Um, the third action item is also something I think is very exciting that we just uh, edit is uh, the quick note option. So, there's a little bar. Um, if you just want to make a quick note and say, okay, uh, we have to call these guys and get approval. Just to make a note, save this. You can just easily put a note in there. You see also the icon changes. So you know there's a certain note on there. These notes are typically for your user only. If you want, you can also add a note and flag it as a global note. So you see the color is changed. Okay. I share results, just save, you see it's a global mode. If you want to edit a note, just simply click into it as an edit function. If you want to delete a note, just simply delete it, hover over it, delete, it's gone, delete the next one. It's also gone, now it's is changing again, which is nice. The other thing I just really want to show you is create two more notes. Another note. What you can also do up here is there's not only the option to add a note, but you can also filter. If you click that, the icon changes and it filters only your notes. And as mentioned, the private notes, the green ones, are only visible for you. The pink ones are visible for everybody, so everybody can see them. The next thing on the Sidebar is uh, what we call widgets. The widgets basically present certain information. So on the one hand, if you're on the home screen, you can configure what you want to show here. Just move over there, hit config sidebar, dialog opens. I can say, okay, which of these widgets you want to show, like my items, favorite, and my last few shortcuts. 
So my items is just a conglomerate out of the other ones. Shortcuts, present to the system shortcuts, last field, nothing to say about it. Reminders, we just set one, and favorites is my favorites. So whatever I set here basically specifies which of these items I see. So here I don't have shortcuts, but if I go to media again, I will see shortcuts again. Then the next thing you can do with each of those, they are foldable. You can just fold them. You can rearrange them and say, okay, reminders are more important. Just move them up. That's kept, that's stored as you want. The other thing we've seen on the sidebar, it's uh, foldable. So you can click it away, and the screen gets wider, and basically it opens once you're over it. Right? And have all the functions. If you go out again, it's moved. If you move in and want to make it stick, just press that little button, then it sticks and basically sits there. Um, on the widget itself, shortcuts I think is clear, is the menu options, it's the same as the ones that pop up here. Reminders is what we have seen, shows five, so the next five reminders, sorted by date. Again, if you are out of it, it shows a little icon for the module, if you hover over it, it gives you, for the reminders, the cancel icon and the edit icon. Last few is just the last 10 few records, same with that. You see the icon, so it's a meeting, it's an account. As soon as you hover over it, you can go to the detail view or you can go right to the edit view. And same for the favorites, so you can see your favorites. The next thing we have is on the bottom, we have the bottom toolbar. So um, that gives you, first of all, the link to the user. This is your user. You just click on that, the user opens. That's there. It gives you information if you're an admin about errors. Click on it, and the errors that typically have been displayed up here um, are displayed. Hide it. It gives you information about the response time you typically have down there. So it gives some information, of course, the license. You have to display that, how it pushes your end. And then it uh, gives you the global links that typically have been before up here. We move them to the bottom and they show here, in, uh, including a logout link. So I think a couple of things we think makes life uh, much easier, you know, to handle and a little bit nicer as if you go to couple of views just to show the basically how they are. If you have tapped views, they look like that. So this is the tapped If you have folding views, that's another one. So I think this is standard sugar. The buttons also standard sugar as it is. The same in the sub panels, I think all the things you know you can move them, etc. Okay. So much for the uh, basic scene features. There will be a second webcast recorded on uh, configuration options on the scene, which are also there. Thank you.